Yo, what's up, guys? Privilege here, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Play Pokemon X series. So, in the last episode, we beat uh, Clement in the Lumio City Gym, and now we are here in front of the uh, cafe, the Lysander Cafe. And I didn't mean to walk in, okay, but it didn't trigger anything. All right, so yeah, let's go walk on in. We're gonna be doing some story things and stuff. Hopefully, we can make our way to the next gym. I think this can be great. Over here. All right, so let's see what we have going on here. Having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I'd like to congratulate you. Mega is something that I would like to be able to use. Lysander himself is a, just, okay, so another early two. You know the Holocaust was made? Uh, made in Lysander Lab. All right, so yeah, basic overview. Nothing really too uh, special going on here. And all right, so uh, yeah, let's just skip this random talk. This little rant, a little ramble that he kind of does right here. It's not really too important. Okay, okay, he's talking about ultimate weapons now. And we just got a King's Rock, alright? Well, we have no slow bro to use that for a slow king. And, yeah, I guess you can throw it for flinching if you want to use, like, fling sets. But, you know, that is not what we're doing. Alright, so let's see. Sinner so looking at things on necessarily the truth. What's too important you spend time with others. Okay, so, no, not telling us where to go. But I'm pretty sure it is kind of... Self-explanatory about where we need to go. Hello clip perceived. Alright, so I think we're gonna get to know where to go from here. Do you have you seen? Turn to let you know we're all gonna be meeting by Route 14. Please come and join us. Alright, so Route 14. So that is the way we have to head. Thank you for the convenience. Trevor, at least you came in uh you some you finally came in use after some time. Because you know Trevor was just kinda there. He just kinda say, let's have my own kind of battle where we compare Pokedexes. Just not even a battle. Alright, so North Boulevard. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Route 14. Is this it? Yep, here it is. Alright, so that was pretty easy. Alright, so... Okay, so let's go... Uh, that guy used to be blocking the way. Probably because of the power outage. Yeah, this is it. Alright, this is the one with the uh, creepy aesthetic to it. Alright, you arrived very quickly. Alright, so let's see, are we doing a trainer battle? Oh, hi, we we're just comparing up, I won, of course. Oh, of course you did. Alright, and then let's see how many Pokedex I can do. Cool, we'll compare the mountain Pokedexes. A man I won, but I didn't lose either. In other words, the time. Okay, really? Okay, we're doing a battle. Okay, that came out of nowhere. That was the, uh, oh, that just came out of nowhere. Alright, so we trained my Pokemon trainer, Serena. She has three Pokemon. You really should have more Pokemon. Like, that's one of the things that kind of made these games really easy. Is that, you know, the trainers don't have too many Pokemon in the first place. They have things like this. They're still carrying around, like, three Pokemon. Like, come on. Like, come on. You have to have at least something else. Alright, so, Lucario's, Lucario Knight is going to react to the Mega Ring. And we are going to be able to Mega Evolve. Alright, so there we go. Lucario is now Mega Evolved. And we are going to hopefully get this Meowstic defeated and be... It's just going to be destroyed into 5,000 different pieces. Alright, so Bone Rush. This should be an easy... Okay, never mind. Alright, so yeah. As we just wait for these animations to slowly go by. That was something that was really weird about these games. Is that uh, the animations just, just just became slow for whatever reason. Because like, in, especially like in the predecessors of Black and White 2 and Black and White. The animations were like, were fast. They just went by fast. Just free swipes. Fury swipes or like any other move that hit more than once, it could just be over with. It wouldn't take, it wouldn't take like 18 years in order to get through it. All right, well we have a chestnut. Let's go into Talonflame. Talonflame should be able to easily take care of this thing with no hesitation, no problem. All right, so yep. And then chestnut is going to be like 40, 37. All right, we're, we're over leveled. And that's actually not even our fault. It's actually the game's fault. So, let's go ahead and use Peck. Uh, this should be a 2 hit KO because, you know, it is Peck. It's nothing like Brave Bird. It's just it's just Peck still. It is quadruple effective, but it is, as I said before, it is just Peck. And, it, okay, it actually took a hit. All right, well, that is, that is something that I didn't expect. But we have Pook Attack still, so that will be able to defeat it. All right. So we defeated a Pokemon. Uh, Chestnut. No, she has one more. Okay, we didn't win the battle just yet. Alright, and Talonflame is now level 40. 
So that's always nice. And so the rest of the is here. Miasta grew to level 40 and wants to learn Psychic. About time to. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of Psybeam. Pretty useless. We don't really need it. And, alright, ta-da. We forgot to learn how to use Psybeam. And now we got ourselves Psychic. Alright, so Tyrant is now level 38. And Absol is coming in. Alright. So, Mega Lucario should easily be able to handle this no problem with one power punch. Should be able to do the trick. Alright, so, yeah. I hope to make it through this route and to the next town if that's where we go after this route. Uh, so, that's something I want to get done in this episode. So, we can go ahead and do the next gym in next episode. Alright, so Absol is fainted. And now Lucario is going to get some XP. So, yeah. After the super long episode that actually went up on what's it called the, uh, that actually went up on tuesday because i am recording or actually this video is going up on thursday but because you know i didn't do an upload on wednesday but uh I, i'm also recording this on thursday as well so yeah you know upload or recording the same day as an upload so yeah okay let's all go to the scary house so, uh, the video on Tuesday actually turned out to be way longer than I wanted to, wanted to and anticipated. The new Super Mario Bros. playthrough episode, that went by, like, unbelievably long. Oh my goodness, I don't even want the episode to be that long. But, you know, for those of you that did watch the entire episode, you know, good for you. I think that is, I think the that episode might be my longest video on the channel. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Because, uh, well, excluding streams. Streams don't count because, you know, they're, they're live streams. They don't count. They don't count. But, like, in terms of actual, an actual video, I think that is the longest. Alright, so, okay, we're gonna run into things that are gonna be fun in the swamp. Probably, like, Palpitoads and Quagsires and, uh, Krogunks. Things of that nature. Or maybe just any, just, water Pokemon that would make sense to be here. Like, maybe Lotads and Ludicolos. Maybe here, but yeah, okay, let's get this item. We got a cleanse tag. All right, so let's go and I'll try to avoid any Pokemon. But yeah, I think we're gonna be encountered by Quagsires. Oh, Gumi, okay, yeah, that, that's definitely a Pokemon that, that fits well here. All right, so yeah, Gumi. Uh, we won't be adding Gumi to the team. And also because, you know, we do have a team of six already. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually progress through without catching anything and okay we are not going to be able to make it through here without random things just coming up and attacking us all right a haunter that is not going to be uh something that we want to get all right so maybe because it's nighttime i think that's why there's a haunter here all right but yeah i just want to get through this uh quickly with no like major events going on oh come on you stupid trainers and you stupid pokemon it's ridiculous Alright, a Shelmet. Alright, that's interesting. That's Pokemon that you gotta trade with the Carablast in order to evolve. That is something super interesting. That, are, that there is a Shelmet there. Alright, so let's go. I don't wanna... I don't... Right. No! Stupid hole! Why is there a hole there? What? That is so stupid. I didn't want to battle you. I didn't want to battle you, Pokemon Trainer Melina. I did not want to battle you. We have an Arbok. Alright, Lucario should be able to do the job. Uh, do we want to Mega Evolve? Okay, yeah, we definitely do want to now. Alright, and then Bone Rush. Alright, Lucario and I, we'll get the shorter cutscene of this. And then we should be fine and dandy. Alright, so Lucario should be able to easily take this thing down with a couple Bone Rushes. Okay, if we have to hit four times, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, three. Okay, we got a critical hit. Alright, that's nice. Alright, so Lucario's gonna get some XP, not quite level 41, or 42 just yet, but Pyro is gonna be sent in, you know, we'll go into Greninja because it does get the, the rain boost for its moves and whatnot, alright, so yeah, Greninja's gonna be sent out, and then Pyro is going to be sent out as well, it's a female Pyro, because it does not have a full main, but yeah, alright, so I think Water Shuriken should be able to do the trick. Especially because we do have the rain boost as I said before. Oh no. Okay, we have to hit more than. Okay, one more time. Are you kidding me? That is so stupid. Just at least one more time. That's all we really needed. Uh, I'm not really too sure why we're using Fire Fang in the rain on a water type. 
But, you know, I'm just gonna let you do your thing, and I'll continue to use my priority water shuriken. You know, that critical hit would have mattered last time. At least, it would, then you could have hit twice, and then I still would have been able to kill. At least I think so. Alright, uh, or a sphere. Okay, that's something new. Uh, I don't think we'll need metal sound. I know that or sphere is special, is a special move, but, you know, it is, you know, might as well learn it for, you know, uh, physically defensive things. And I was about to say Blissey, but no, Blissey is not the physical defense. It is a special defense and a very HP, a very, a very uh, HP based Pokemon. Because, you know, if you hit it with the defense uh, physical move, then, you know, it's not going to be able to protect itself from that. But, yeah, it is the other way around. Okay, I don't even know what I'm getting at. Alright, uh, let's just go on. Hey, I'm just going to dodge this trainer without being stuck in this. What? Why are there holes everywhere where I have to battle these stupid trainers? I don't want to battle your Pokemon trainer, whatever this guy's name is. Nash. What kind of name is Nash? And he has a Gumi. Great. Alright, that's going to be enjoyable. Alright, Lucario, can you just, you know, be a little bit of assistance and, you know, just bone rush this thing to death so we don't have to try to stall out the battle any longer than I want to? Because I want to keep it nice and short, especially after the long episode. Yes, not not yesterday. On Tuesday. Okay, come on, please, one more bone rush. Are you kidding me? And then it's going to use Muddy Water. Okay, great. We just can't seem to get enough hits. We can't, cannot seem to get enough hits in order to kill Pokemon. We always get one off, and then we have to waste more PP doing this. There we go. Just hit it one time, just because it didn't hit it more than once the last time. Alright, so, Greninja's gonna grow to level 42, and that is Pokemon Ranger Nash defeated. Yeah, no one really cares about your incredible power that awakened inside you. Alright, so yeah, let's go. Alright, uh, let's just go, go, what, where did you come from? I didn't even see you. I guess that's the point. Okay, so Hex Maniac, uh, and Nina, Nina, I don't even know how to pronounce that. You have a very weird name because you are Hex Maniac. At least that's what I think. Alright, so it started to rain, we already know that, and let's go ahead and use Bone Rush. Should you be easily kill it, because Liquid is, li Litwick, not Liquid, Litwick is part fire type, so... A bone rush should be able to easily uh, take this thing down with no problems. And there we go, two hits. All right, there we go. And then what is her next Pokemon gonna be? Actually, don't be a haunter because I can't hit it with ground type moves. Just because of the fact that you know it is okay. And of course, it's gonna be a haunter because it does levitate, so we cannot hit it. Let's go to Meowstic. Meowstic will be able to use Psychic, and then this thing should go down with ease. Alright, so Meowstic are male Meowstic, not female. And oh my gosh, these Pokemon are so under leveled. Level 34, are you kidding me? Alright, instantly taken down. No problem, no hesitation, no no really anything. Alright, so we are getting some XP. Venus will grew to level 40. And that is oh, whoa, she's mad. Okay, I lost, I lost. Yeah. You did lose, if you didn't already see that you had two Pokemon, one of them being a Haunter, and not a fully evolved Gengar. Alright, okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try with this. Alright, okay, just get out of my way, and let's try to follow him, let's try to follow him. Okay. Please tell me that he does not move when we're in a Pokemon battle, because I do not want to battle this random guy that I don't care about, and don't really want to, like, acknowledge, do anything. Involving him, I just want to, you know, make my way to this, uh, to the, uh, not the strange house, the, uh, this creepy house or whatever, whatever it's called. But yeah, it's right over here, right? Yeah, here it is. Come on, this way. Okay, yeah, here it is. Alright, so, yeah, let's go on in. So this house, it is a scary house, isn't it? I guess we should go inside. Alright. Well, you're gonna go inside. Are you all serious? Serena is off spending time with the Pokemon, so I guess we'll just have to go into that and see if the room is true by ourselves. Go inside ourselves. Where's that? Let's go inside by ourselves then. I can't even take English right in this episode. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, so we have to hear this guy tell us a story. Let's get started then. All right, so we have the ear music. All right, it is a dark, stormy night many years ago. Lost. I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn off, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. 
I found the fridge, and when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could finally make out my surroundings, and I saw a fa faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of a room. I tried to tell him that I was lost, and I was hoping he'd let me stay till the morning. But when I approached him, he mentally screamed, stay back. I apologize. Continue to plead my case. Please, can you help me? I'm not talking to you, he shouted. When I looked at the man in surprise when I did this, the man asked me, can't you see them behind you? A horde of faceless men. And that really... That really, uh, actually kind of fits. Now then, since I told you wonderful stories that I always haunt you, would you be so kind as to tip me? If you don't, well, you might see something really scary. Charging us? Uh, no, we're not giving you a tip. Let's get out of here. Alright, so yeah, that did, that did work uh, with the overall aesthetic of, you know, it being uh, October and being, a, like, Halloween-ish a little bit. Alright. So I guess it really was a scary house in a way. Well, you guess, well, uh, you know, getting camping, like, it was kind of camping, I guess. We usually tell scary stories about the campfire. Have enough of dark places, scary things, rather rehearse my dance. See you all later. Alright. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go to the next town with, uh, with none of this nonsense. Alright, so yeah, let's go leave. Oh, yay, super scary story. I am so scared right now, as you can clearly tell in this very monotone episode. This episode has been really monotone. I'm just kind of seeing lackluster, because we weren't really doing too much. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy, then feel free to leave a like and maybe even a comment. And if you really want to, you could even subscribe to be notified of when future episodes of this series comes out. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll hopefully be doing La Laver or Lavare City. I'm pretty sure it is Laver. But anyway, that is enough for me. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace, bye.